Hey guys, so a couple of things about this video. Do I always start videos that way? Hey guys, blah, 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 whatever. Anyway, not the point. Um, many of you probably saw on my Instagram that I wanted to try doing a video that was a different kind of review video that focused on what makes a good review package for both sides. I wanted to talk about when I receive a package and, and I've had these thoughts on my own before but never expressed them because that isn't a part of a traditional review. But I wanted to talk about like what parts of review make it easier for me as the reviewer because you know, we are doing a favor for the person that we're reviewing more or less, right? I mean, we're giving exposure, etc. And there have been times in the past when I've opened a package and I've either been frustrated by something that I noticed or really enjoyed something that I noticed and I was thinking, gosh, wouldn't it be great for the people who are sending out reviews if they could know those things that make it easier or just more enjoyable for us and you're gonna get a better video out of it if I'm enjoying it and so on and blah, blah, blah. So, is there a fly in here? Why would there be a fly in? I don't like flies. Anyway, so um, I wanted to give a couple of blips before I get started. The first thing is I had originally anticipated that I would film all of these at the same time in one sitting so that you could see them all kind of back to back. However, yesterday was Friday and three of them were delivered yesterday and I feel bad. I don't think it's fair to those people to let theirs sit while I wait for the other three to get here. I believe I'm waiting on three more. Um, I did originally say I was gonna do five, but I ended up doing, I believe, six because I took one international one and one follow-up one, so I thought that, you know, anyway, not the point. Um, so I am going to do the three that I have right now. What is this? That's fun. I'm gonna do the three that I have right now for you now, and you're not gonna see them separately. They're all still gonna be a part of the same video, but I wanted to bring attention to it because I'm going to look different. I'm wearing this today. The others may come on Monday, and I will be wearing something different on Monday because that's how life works. I don't know. So whatever it is, um, that is something you should know. So I have prefaced that. I'm starting to think that this might end up being a really long video and might actually need to be split into two, but we'll see what happens. I am going to talk about a lot of things in this video. I'm going to talk about packaging, I'm going to talk about labeling, I'm talking about notes, I'm going to talk about how they, what they choose to put in it. The slimes of course are important, but everything that goes into a review package is important. This does not mean extras. I actually don't believe that extras are necessary at all for a review, and I said that when I took them. So if there are any extras in these packages, I've told them they don't have to do it. That's something that they may choose to do. Fine, whatever, but it's not going to have any weight in how I feel about the package one way or another. I'm not gonna be like, oh, well, I really love blah, 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 because they gave me candy. That's not gonna ever be the way it's gonna go. It's always gonna have to do with exactly what the criteria was. Presentation, slime, blah. Additionally, I do want to talk about something that has no reflection on the people who sent these. I want to talk about how brutally USPS treats these packages. I'm gonna show you, I've blocked out all personal information on the people who sent them, but I wanna show you what these packages looked like when they arrived to me yesterday, and I haven't opened them, so this has nothing to do with what they put inside. This is just literally the state. What is this? Why is this happening to me today? My hair cannot contain itself apparently. But I just want to show you the state in which these packages were literally physically handed to me by a postman. And I was shocked when I saw them because, well, I'm just going to show you because you'll probably, I mean, maybe you won't be shocked at this point. We shouldn't be shocked anymore, right? Okay. So this first package is from Soft Punk Slime. And look at this. What? It's like been completely demolished on this side. I mean, just smashed to smithereens. Like what? What's going on here? Like it's nearly broken open on this part. Luckily it didn't, but obviously this has nothing to do with her. But come on guys, do better. Your only job is to bring me packages that are in good condition. I, I highly doubt that this is how she put it in the mail. I do love that she has a stamp though. That's super cool. Just noticed that. 
Okay, so, um, oh, also you should know that I told them I had no preference on how many slimes they each sent because I'm not in it to get free slime. I had a very specific video in mind when I accepted these reviews. It didn't matter to me whether they sent one slime or six slimes. I asked them not to send like 1,500 slimes or anything like that. But um, yeah, so this is the second package and this one, I completely blocked out their name, which was stupid of me. This is from The Real Slime Lily and um it's not in as bad of a condition but it's also quite a bit smaller it's still just like i don't know i guess this one's actually fine so this one's fine but when i first got it i was like Murr. but then i'm looking at it now and it's okay it's the other ones that had issues and last for now but certainly not least is this one from Chappie Slimes. I'm so excited because it came all the way from New Zealand which is pretty amazing however look at this what have they done to his package what what's going on here what is this how could they do how can they think that this is okay i mean the rest of the box is a little bit smooshy smooshed but a complete like cracked open this is not normal this is not like oh you didn't put enough tape on it so this part came or something like that did someone step on this did they try to pick it up from the side and it ripped? Like, look, it's ripped all the way down. Oh my God. So what I have to say about that is USPS, do better. I just, I'm really frustrated with the service that we get from them and I'm sure all of you are too, but it's just one of those things where I'm sitting here, like he handed me the package and I looked at it and I was like, because this shouldn't be happening. There's literally no reason for there to be a hole in the side of a review, pa any package that I receive, but a review package because it's, it's taped to high heavens. He did a great job. It's also humongous and I'm really excited. I mean, like I've never had slimes from another country before. I don't think, oh, Brazil. Someone gave me one from Brazil once, but like this came all the way from New Zealand. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I also really love Chappie. Um, but yeah, so that was the first thing that I felt needed to be addressed. Again, this is nothing against any of the people who sent me anything. This is all a rant against USPS and USPS alone, or also maybe New Zealand Postal Service. I don't actually know if it was USPS that made the hole or if it was New Zealand that made the hole, but either way, postal people, be nice to my packages and everyone else's packages too. It's your job, your literal job. This is like, the you had one job meme, you had one job.